Where the custom video player shines is its ability to fully customize absolutely any video on your site. So if you're going to be adding videos to your website, whether your own videos or other people's videos, including YouTube videos or direct video files such as MP4s or FLV files, you've got that full customization options. So you can make it match your website or blog so that it looks a part of your website or blog. Let's have a look at some of those customization options. For this example, we're going to grab a YouTube video and we're going to do a video on golf. So here I've found a video on golf, the top 10 unique golf swings. And whatever your website or blog is about, you'd be choosing relevant videos, adding them to your blog or website and making them look absolutely unique. So they're not going to look like YouTube players at all. And all I need to do is add the video link to the video link field. So that's the actual link to the page where the video is on YouTube. Now to get started, let's just have a look at what we've got here so far. So by clicking on the generate video, we can see here's our video player and we've got a custom control here and it looks pretty good, but we can improve this video as much as we like. Not only can we improve the look of it, we can fully customize the control of it, the design of it, the size of it and how it performs on the website. So the first thing I'm going to do with this video, I want to change the picture that loads when the video first loads. So we can enter a custom image that is going to be the preloaded image for our video. Sometimes YouTube is not going to have your favorite image for your videos. Not a problem with the custom video player. You can place any image on the front of that video. So let's head over to Photo Bucket. And I've just typed in golf green search and here we can see there's a whole range of different images that I can choose so we can copy that link for instance and going back into the custom video player I can just paste in my link here in the image URL and let's create our video player now. So there we go, we can see it's loading now, the video player is loading with our own image and I think that's already looking better. Now because this particular video is about golf swings and tips on golf swings, I'm going to choose a different image. So I'm going to go back to Photo Bucket. So here's a good golf swing picture, looks great. I'm just going to copy the direct link. We'll scroll back up here and we'll put a different image URL in here. Generate video code. And now you can see it's loading with our new image and I, I think this is starting to look really good. And the great thing about it is you get this preview every time you generate a video embed code. Now up here we can see the video embed code and all I have to do is copy and paste that anywhere where I can paste HTML code and my custom designed video will load. So this one's a YouTube video but you wouldn't think by looking at it. Now the next thing I want to change is going to be this controls here. I think the it's all right but we can try a few different colors and designs to see what looks the best. So up here we can choose a different theme. So we can go all different kind of themes. We can even go hot pink. And we can see the hot pink controls have loaded. For this one, we can try the evergreen one. And that's not too bad, but I think I like the black one better for this one. Let's try one more. Try the simple white. That looks really nice actually. And we'll try one more. That's quite a popular one. The simple black will change the control size. So let's try the super slim look. I think that looks pretty good actually and we can see we've got all the different controls full screen volume play 
and those sort of options. So now we are customizing a YouTube video and we're making it look exactly the way we want. Now with these different kind of themes or you might call them skins, you can actually create your own skins as well in the custom video player. We can choose the size of the player. So if we want to create a tiny little player, we can see it's created a nice video player here which is great for blogs or or for the side of the page and that sort of stuff and it's resized the image to match the player size which is really great and we have a lot of other options like we can apply different effects um, let me show you this effect if we set the video controls on standard and then we can apply a transparency effect and create the player now we can see this nice see-through player with the custom video player. Now this looks really great in the white as well. I'll just quickly show you that one. And we'll just make the player a little bit bigger. And there you go, you can see it with the white transparency effect, which looks really nice. With your controls, you can actually hide them completely. So now if I went to create the video, you can see there's no controls at all. Now when you're using this sort of a feature, you want to be setting it on auto start. And that way the video will start playing automatically and it works great on squeeze pages, sales pages or pages where you want the video to start playing automatically. Other options you have also is to choose to start the video automatically once. So if the person coming to your website is going to be browsing the different web pages on your site and they come back to that same page several times, that video is not going to start playing every single time. So once start video automatically, that's a great option and I'll, I think you'll find some great use for that one. I'm going to turn the controls back on here. I'm going to switch the theme back to the simple black. We can also enable click to pause. We've got option for high definition videos. I'm just going to turn the transparency effect off. And let's have a look at some of these advanced settings. Now with the advanced settings, I'm going to go through these fairly quickly. We can give the video a title and a description. Now this feature is actually quite amazing if you're going to use any YouTube videos. You can take a YouTube video with a different title and a different description and you can give it your own title and your own description. So you can basically rename and re-describe any kind of videos. So I'm going to call this one Golf Swing Secrets. Then we're going to give it a, um, a description here. And for the description, I'm going to choose here 10 simple ways to improve your golf swing. Now if I go back down here and choose Generate Video Code, here we've activated the information button. So when I click here, we can see the information on the video. Golf Swing Secrets, 10 simply fast to implement ways to improve your golf swing. Now you could probably word that a little bit better, but what we've been able to do here is we've taken a YouTube video, we've given it our own look, our own players, our own background, our own image for the video, and now we've also given it a title and a description. So this is what the custom video player is all about. It gives you the power to absolutely customize any video online. Now let's go back and have a look at some more really cool features. Now you've got the option to set your custom video width and custom video height. There are literally hundreds of different size blogs when it comes to margins and widths and heights. And there are times you want to create custom size videos. And that's when the custom video width and custom video height feature comes into play. So you can fully customize the size of the video player. Now to show you how this works, let's say you want to create a big video here and we're going to go 600 pixels wide. And what we're going to do on the first example here, I'm going to leave the custom video height blank and let the custom video player automatically 
calculate the height of the video. So here's your two different online video ratios. So we can try the different sizes here and see what the video looks like. Now it's much more likely you're going to have an exact width in mind when choosing to customize the size of your video instead of the height. But you can fully customize it yourself as well. So let's go down, generate video code, and here we can see our custom size video. If we were to enter a height as well, I'm going to do something a little bit ridiculous here just to show you how it works. I'm going to create a very stretched out video player and generate video code. And you can see what we've created. We've created a very unusually wide video player. Now having said that, we do have a quite a good list of different size video screens and these are optimal sizes to give you maximum quality for your video. And we do have the cinema super wide which is ready to go. So by generating this video we can see we've got this super wide screen video player. If you are setting up videos and you're just having one video on the one entire page, then you can use a much larger size and a lot of viewers will really appreciate that. You also have the option of adding a background color and you can mute the video. So if you're having it on auto start or you're having multiple videos on one page, starting automatically you can mute those videos automatically so you're not distracting your site visitors they will then have the option to turn the audio on now i want to quickly get to the custom logo feature this is one of my favorite features of the custom video player and there is a lot you can do with this with a custom logo you can use it to brand your own videos really gives your videos a professional touch on your site you can also use it for affiliate programs so if you want to place relevant banners or products that you're promoting inside the video so let's first have a look so let's first have a look at the logo feature and let's say we just want to brand our videos with our company company logo so I've just searched for a logo image that I'm going to be using for this example here and I'm just copying the link to that particular image. Back in the custom video player, I'm inside the advanced settings and I'm here where it says logo image URL. I'm just pasting in that link and then we'll choose generate video code. So there we go. We can see our logo here on the top right hand corner. Now we can place that logo wherever we want and we can also adjust the size of it. I'm going to put here 100 is the width and I'm going to set the height at 80. And you can set any, you can stretch it, you can shrink it, you can do whatever you want with your banners which is really great. So there we go, I've got my logo there. Another thing I can do with the logo is I can apply a little bit of transparency. So down here we've got transparency. Let's just give it 30% and see how that looks. So that looks pretty cool. You can sort of see the tree through there. Um, I could give it a little bit more transparency. Let's just go 50% uh, percent and we'll try and put it on the top left hand side. Okay, so and now when the video starts playing, um, you'll be able to see through it because I have the transparency set. Now if you want it flush right against the side, you can also adjust the margin. So we can take the margin right down to zero, or we can add a small margin, let's say three pixels for instance. And we can see now we've shifted our brand. So by now, what we've been able to do, we've taken somebody else's YouTube video, which could have been our own, but we chose to take somebody else's. We've totally changed the look of it. We've put our own image there. We've put our own controls. And now we've even put a logo. Um, we've watermarked this video with our own logo. And once again, you can place that logo anywhere on the screen. Now, another, another thing you want to do with your logo is you want to be linking that logo to your website. Or you could link it to an affiliate program, which we'll have a look at in a minute. So for this example, 
I just put here golf.com and generate video code. And there we go, we can see our previews updated. Now if someone clicks our logo, they're going to be directed to that particular link. Okay, so that's a really great tool. Now if you want to get more creative or if you want to make money from your videos, it's very easy to do. All you need to do is place an affiliate banner inside the video. Now let's give it a go and see how we go. So back here in the custom logo, let's jump over to ClickBank. So here at ClickBank, I've decided to go with this one, the key to a repeating golf swing. It's $22.95 per sale in commission. So that means when somebody viewing my video is going to click my banner, which I'm going to be placing in the video, if they buy the product, I get paid $22.91. Now this affiliate program has some ready to go banners, you've got some. Let's grab this one here. I'm just going to copy the link again and we'll go back here and let's paste in that link in the logo image URL. Next we want to get our affiliate link. So I'm just going to choose promote and here we'll put golf video one as the tracking so i know which video i'm earning that money from and we've got our nickname there choose create i'm just going to copy my affiliate link here back into the custom video player we're going to put our affiliate link there for the logo link now let's talk about the size for a minute we can choose exactly what size that banner is going to be we don't have to go with the previous custom set size so because we're talking about banner and we're talking about making money with this banner we possibly want to make it a little bit bigger now one thing you can do is you can actually match the height of the video player or the width of the video player and from here screen size I can see this particular video player is 384 pixels high. So over here I'm going to set the height to 384 and then I'm just going to leave the width for at 100 for now and what I'm going to do for this one is I'm going to take the margin off completely. I'm going to also remove the transparency effect and let's have a look at our custom video player now. So there we go we've got a banner inside the video so it's quite visible and you can also add a little bit of a margin now I think it's kind of covering this picture a little bit so what we can do let's shift it over to the other side so we'll just put it on the on the right hand side generate video code and there we go we can see we've got a banner inside the video and it's not distracting the video so if they start viewing the video here there are without doubt some beautiful swings in world golf so many pros are known for their beautiful and effortless process of hitting the So ball. they can watch However, that, they can click them. there's the information the on the video the and they can see our banner ad there which looks absolutely great. Okay, let's keep going with the customization. You've got a share option and this is great for getting free traffic to your website. So we just looked at how to use the logo feature to make money with your videos. With the share option, we can use the share option to get free traffic to our website to view those videos. So the first thing we need to, we need to do is we need to enter the link to exactly where the video is going to be. And this is the link that will be shared by your custom video player. So I've just put there yoursite.com page where my video is. Now if you see those different pop-ups popping up every now and then, that's just from me hovering over the icons and all the icons will give you a, a great reminder and a description of those different fields. So we're looking at the share option here and we can give it a share title. Now if you remember just previously in the video we've already given it a custom video title and a custom video description. Now if we leave the share title and the share description blank the custom video player will use these 
entries here tied to one description that we've already entered so you don't have to enter the same information twice if you want a slightly different title or a slightly different description for your share option then you can enter that here so this is once again custom video player gives you full freedom to fully customize your online videos. So by placing a link where your video is going to be online, you automatically activate the share feature. If we have a look at the video currently, you can see there's no share buttons here. But now with our link placed in here, and let's update our preview by clicking generate video code. You can see we've got a new button here, the new share button. So by clicking there, we can see all the different places that they can share your video, meaning you're getting free traffic to your site. And if your banner's making money and you're getting traffic to your site, then you're going to be a very happy camper. And before you know it, you're making on, ongoing affiliate commissions from your online videos. So they can just click the share option and share to any of those different sharing sites. Next we have the video sitemap feature and this is a real time saver. To activate the video sitemap feature all you have to do is enter a page link and that's the actual link where your video is going to be placed. And then you'd add a video title. Once again if you leave this field blank it's going to look for the title up here right under the advanced setting so you don't need to enter the same title twice same for the description and a thumbnail image google requires all these four fields these are fields that you need to have in order to have a valid video sitemap if you leave the thumbnail image blank the custom video player will use this particular image up here that we've entered. If you leave all your image fields blank and you've just entered a YouTube video here, then the custom video player will actually use the YouTube image thumbnail so that your video sitemap is going to be valid. And you've got some really cool advanced features. So it gives you all the different options with your video sitemap. All the different settings are here to create as complex of a video sitemap as you like. If you want to keep things simple, just don't go into the optional advanced sitemap settings. Just enter your basic details here. So now when I choose generate video code, we can see there's our preview, but we've got a new option here because we entered a link into the video sitemap field. We've automatically activated the video sitemap feature. So here we've got preview sitemap and save and get sitemap link. So preview sitemap, we can have a quick look at it. There's our XML sitemap and that's what we need to be submitting to Google. If we're happy with it, we just click save and get sitemap link and it's created the sitemap. It's put it on your own site and it's given us the webmaster link ready to go. So that's how easy it is to create awesome custom video players. Another option here is it also gives you a direct video link. So if we have a look at that, we can see there's an actual video page and we could even share that link if we want to send people without actually setting up a page. To add this video now to your blog or website, all you need to do is you copy your video embed code. I've just got a test WordPress blog set up. All I need to do is make sure I'm in the HTML view and we just paste in our code, choose publish. And now if we have a look at our post, we can see there's our video loading in our blog. And once again, you can fully resize that. We've got the custom image. We've got the banner inside the video ready to make us affiliate commissions. We've got the share options to bring us free traffic and we've got all the different controls ready to go. They can come here. If they want to watch, they can They're click play and away you go. Your video is all ready to go.
if they look at the information here, you've basically taken this video and fully branded the video with your own site title and your own site description.